So I cannot choose a favorite night because I love all of my voice actors and I can't do that to them. But also I really love in different ways every single one of them because they each give me something different. I like to play with Red Hood. <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah, he's, uh, he, 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 I love the range attacks, really awesome. Uh, I love the momentum attacks that he has. That's one of the things about all our characters, actually. Uh, we have awesome momentum abilities, which makes our games really, really special, I feel. For me, Red Hood, like, really resonates with me. Like, the gameplay and the way they wrote uh, the sto his story, like, the way we uh, see him evolve in all the activities and the cutscenes and the Belfry, like, for me, that's a, a big win. Visually, there's this one Red Hood suit style, the Night Ops one, that I, I think looks amazing, but gameplay-wise, I often find myself playing Nightwing. I don't know, I just like the, the movement. Uh, it just feels, I like the way it feels. I really have played hundreds of hours with all of the Knights, and I, I have fun with them, I would say, equally. Batgirl, to me, is kind of special, though, because we made her her first in the early prototyping phase, so I feel like I've hung out the longest with Batgirl. We have an emotional connection at this point. I feel like we're friends. Batgirl, I am a Batgirl. Uh, and and it's, I know it's kind of like, everybody's waiting for me to say that because she's the female protagonist, but it's not that, it's just her personality and her gameplay just fits so well with my playing style. <laughs> So depending on what I'm feeling, if I'm grumpy, well, I might play Red Hood because he's grumpy and it makes me feel better to hear him complaining about things. Um, and if I'm feeling more cheerful, I want to be cheered up, then I might play Nightwing because he's quippy and he's, he's lighter and fun, right? Um, Robin is more, more intellectual, more more tactical in his approach to things. And, and Batgirl's your really reliable, dependable, no-nonsense, puts up with nothing kind of character. Um, but gameplay-wise, if you're just going to talk about gameplay style, I like stuff. So I will play Robin if that's what I'm looking for. For me, it's Robin. I think his, uh, his balance between stealth and offensive, I, I really enjoy playing as Robin. But one of the aspects I really love about the game is how easy it is to switch between different characters. So I might play the majority of the game as Robin, but sometimes for one night, I'll be like, you know what, I'm going to play as Red Hood. I mean, I uh, historically have always been a kind of a stealth player, right? Not a shock. I worked on Splinter Cell. It's kind of my. But um, so. There, I do find, no matter how many times I kind of cycle through the roster, I, I do come back to Robin fairly regularly. Um, I, like, I like what he brings to the experience. I like the challenge of taking this, this kid and, and turning him into like kind of an urban legend. It's kind of, I, there's something about that that I find hyper appealing. What I could say is that I'm excessively proud of what we did with Robin, because it was one of my, not concerns, but something where you make sure that people, everybody knows Nightwing, Red Hood, Bad Girl. Robin always kind of felt like a psyche-ish, but I want to make sure that he is like, he's not just like on the side. He is now the, the one who drives the Batmobile, you know what I mean? So I think that with the efforts we put in Robin to make him his own main man, 